Hello everyone, welcome back. I am really excited to share this video with you today. Uh, this has been a project that's a long time in the making. We love Legos at our house, but I also dislike bazillions of Legos all over the place. It drives me crazy, I hate stepping on them. It makes the whole basement feel messy. So we have struggled to come up with a system that would work for us, and so I had been doing some research, I'd been looking at different shelving units and such, and we finally um, settled on what we chose. And it was out of stock online forever. And then our friends were gracious enough, they went to Ikea and they happened to have it in the store. And so our friends were gracious enough to get it for us and bring it um, home for us. So I don't know if it's still, I'll link it if I can. I don't know if it's still available or if it's still out of stock online, but it's definitely in the store in Ikea. So without further ado, I will show you what we worked on. Okay, we are starting our big Lego project. These are the two things that I got from Ikea. I think they're the Trofast, or however you say that. Um, I think we're gonna split them apart because we do have a Lego table like with the Lego, the big Lego mat on it that we're gonna put in the middle. And so let me show you. We ended up putting them in our storage room because we had my nieces over. And so, wow, look at this. We have started, I should say Journey has started. She has done all the work so far. That's the Lego table that my brother built us that we're gonna put in the middle. So we are gonna get to work. All right, you can see that we're splitting those storage units apart. And then I am bringing the Lego table and putting it in the middle. I just thought that would work the best so they could work from both sides of those storage units. Then we are bringing all the bins out and putting them into the storage units. We had started sorting them already but there was lots to be sorted still and all of the manuals and such weren't in the one bin. You can see them just kind of all mishmash there. Oh, you can see Jillian Jericho messing around with the football when they're supposed to be sorting. <laughs> you can see Journey uh, probably telling them they should be sorting. This was a fun project though. Um, you know, we put music on and we just sorted and it's a little bit relaxing to me to sort stuff like that. I don't know. Um, you can't do it for very long though because it's uncomfortable on the floor and such, but I feel like we did a really good job and got a lot accomplished that day. All right, we made some good progress. We are definitely not done yet. Um, but here we put all of the extra like really big plate things in here along with all of the instructions, which at some point we'll have to do something different with those. But still have all those to sort through. We are working through all of the little mini pieces and I think we might consolidate and maybe use this someplace else and put it all in that. That's a project in progress. Over here, I thought this was clever. Journey was using this to sort the bigger pieces from the smaller pieces. These bins are, I think works in progress is what we decided. Like somebody had started building these and they didn't want to tear them down. Some extra bins, and we definitely have some more bins to sort. Um, but we are definitely getting there, so this is exciting. All right, we are ready to reveal our Lego Ultimate Lego Storage Project. Here it is. The top is all projects that have been built and want to be displayed. Then we've been sorting by colors. And so these are all sorted right here. And I really like the bins slide really nice. They're a pretty heavy duty. I mean, obviously like if kids took them out and like stood on them, they would break, but um, 
and the this is pretty solid. I really like it, the IKEA thing. Here's the Lego table I was talking about. So this is where they can work on projects. And then it has, my brother made this for me actually. It has two pull-out bins and these are projects being worked on right now. Down here are all the extra big plate things and all of the instruction manuals. And I would love to have like a binder or something, but um, for now, that's where it's at. This I think we're still gonna consolidate a little bit, but these are all the teeny tiny pieces or like the, ooh, or like the special, you know, those special little weird pieces. Especially the girl Legos have a lot of little weird pieces. Like Journey has like some vet clinic ones that have like little, oh, I think here's some. See like little teeny tiny things. So. Anyway, so we might consolidate these and get it into one, and then I might use this someplace else. But honestly, one of the things I like about having two of these is that we still have room to grow. So it's not like, you know, we're already all full up or anything. And so these are sorted more by colors, and then we still have two big bins to sort. We just all kind of got Lego fatigue and decided to stop for a while. I'll probably work on it once the kids go back to school. Oh, maybe a little bit each day or something, but we have four completely empty bins and then these are works in progress. So like somebody has already started sorting the piece that they need to build a set. So, we are pretty proud of it. This is working really, really well. We just have a piece of remnant carpeting right there just because we have painted concrete down here. And so that just gives them a nice, soft little place to play. Everything is contained. And when it stays nice and organized, the kids are much more apt to come down and build. You know, when it's spread out everywhere and nothing's sorted, they just ignore it and don't build anything. All right, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, so far, it is working out really, really well. The kids are playing with them more. And like I said, um, this is just what works for us. So the system, like the storage unit will work for anyone. Um, I asked the kids and they said that they would use them the most if we sorted them by color, but you could also sort Legos by um, like, the shape of the Lego and you could mix all the colors together. However, your kids will be most inclined to use them. And we consider Legos an investment in our house. So like I will have this Lego storage system forever. I will keep it for grandkids. I will keep it until my kids have kids and want some other Legos back maybe for their kids. Um, we will keep these Legos forever. I love having stuff like this for when kids come over to visit, even if my kids get too old for them, which I don't think you're ever too old for Legos, but um, it's an investment. And so we wanted to invest in a nice storage system and I think we accomplished that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.